Well, hi, I'm Scott Mitchell. I'm the youth pastor here at Harborview Fellowship, and I'm super excited about the mission trip that we're going to be taking our youth on and a number of our adults. We're going to be heading to Tennessee. In case you don't know what we're doing, we're going to be working with uh, YWAM Knoxville, Tennessee, and we're going to be going into the backwoods, into the hollers, and uh, working with kids and working with families. Just super excited to be partnering with our church in doing this. So as you are hearing about this, our team has been preparing. Our team has been getting ready. In fact, one of the things that I love about our mission trips is that we spend like four months in just dedicated training to get ready to go and be ready to be used by God. And so we're training and some of our team has some thoughts that they wanted to share with you as well. The first time I heard that there was gonna be like, it's gonna be very kid focused. I got super excited. I love kids. I love working with kids. And because a lot of the things we hear as kids leave such like a deep imprint on who we are. I am expecting that one or more people on this trip are going to experience something that you know, changes their life in an instant. Um, one thing that I've always experienced in original design prayer, um, whether I've received it or prayed it for other people, is um, I always get the opposite of the thing I'm struggling with. <laughs> so if it's insecurity, it's, you know, it's like Gideon, you're bold, you're courageous, you're a warrior. Which is like incredible just to like see how clearly God sees me. Like God sees me like as a vibrant, like beautiful daughter. Being able to pray that over um, kids in Tennessee is going to be so cool. One thing I realized on the Las Vegas trip was how incredibly powerful prayer is. Prayer can affect people from across states and across countries. Like, that's just insane to me, and I never actually realized the power of prayer and how important it is um, and what a big deal it is. I think my expectation for um, doing Jesus' ministry would be a lot of what you see in the Gospels. You see profound things. You see healings. You see... Um, you know, you, you see redemption, you see um, people freed from demonic and different things and ailments. One thing I think that's overlooked is Jesus spent a lot of time in ministry situations. Like, I'd be exhausted. <laughs> you know, sometimes God just snaps his fingers and something incredible happens. And I think on this trip, we will see that. And for people to come behind me and like, have faith in me to do something for the kingdom of heaven and like give financially when it's not always easiest um, really means so much. So I'm really excited to see what God does in the hearts of people as they um, get ready to give and get ready to pour into this mission trip even if they're not going on it. And any of your guys' prayers that would help support us would be completely appreciated because we definitely feel it when we're on the trip. I just want to say thank you to Harborview for supporting us in prayer and also financially and partnering with us. So what you're going to uh, see is uh, in uh, church on the next few Sundays, you're going to see a board with envelopes with different amounts of money that you could choose at your level uh, that would fit your ability uh, if you feel led by the Lord to give. And so there's going to be like QR codes, there's going to be ways you can pay, pay with credit card. Uh, or by check or cash. And so um, be looking for that in uh, our services. But if you're not able to join us on Sunday, uh, or if you're an online uh, visitor, uh, we would love for you to just uh, have the opportunity to support what God is doing here as well. And so you can be looking for uh, links on our websites or in our emails for ways that you can give as well.